going on at you? I'm not bad, thanks yourself. Very well indeed. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for giving us some of your time for this interview. That's my pleasure. And uh, what would be an insight to our viewers as to um, this Azadari Flame Art Um I'd like to ask you a few questions as to the uh, whole Azadari, what you think about it, what you feel about it, uh, and hopefully we'll get some answers out of you as to what you feel. And yeah, think. absolutely. Um, so the first question is, um, how did you find out about it, and um, you know, through whom, and uh, how many years have you done it for? Well, um, I didn't know anything like this actually existed until uh, it was, uh, I actually became close friends with um, a few of my friends who I went to school with initially, um, and they'd been practicing it for a couple of years, but I think um, as time went on and every Muharram came, um, I, I kind of felt that this was something I wanted to explore, um, and it was only last year that I actually did it. Um, so it was, a, it was an answer to your question, it was a friend of mine who introduced me to it, but looking back on it now, I feel like I've missed many years, mm -hmm. um, you know, since I've been, since I actually knew something like this actually took place, because, you know, I'd probably say A, it's quite sensational to a certain degree, um, but B, it, it really does sort of, if you like, take you to another dimension during that period of Muharram, and you can really, if you like, um, empathise with actually what happened. Um, I'd like to ask you, uh, what was your initial thoughts and feelings entering the place? Um, you know, like, can you give us a bit of a, a run through as to what time you got there, what happened? And yeah, absolutely. Um, it was, it was a probably thing, we set off for about half nine, ten. Um, where we did it was actually in North London. And, um, you know, there was, you know, just walking into this particular, I'd probably say, room or, you know, sort of warehouse to a certain degree. This, I mean, I'm personally quite squeamish to a certain degree, so I was a little bit hesitant at first, you know, seeing the sight of blood and so on and so forth. But as time went on, I became a lot more comfortable with the environment. Um, and then I think it was my turn essentially came. And I, w I would probably class it to be something quite graphic. But, you know, once you're, once you're involved with everybody and you've got everybody, if you like, having the same objective collectively, um, and, you know, everybody's very welcoming, warm, you know, within seconds of being there, you you know, I was just talking to somebody who I'd never seen in my life, I didn't even know their name, but there was just so much chemistry between us because we were both there for the same reason. Um, that made me feel a lot more comfortable as well. And I, I would, you know, I think it's, you know, if you're not ready to do it, that's fine, but I would still go. Just to get that exposure, because nine times out of ten, now looking back on it, just being there really encouraged me. So you would so you would say that even if you're not going to participate, yeah. just to be there and to view it, to yes. see it, yeah, absolutely. which in itself is a form of participation, yes. show, showing that you're supporting yes. the cause. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, could you uh, then? You've told us how the atmosphere was roughly. Could you tell us what you felt just before doing it, and what you felt afterwards, and and also during the time of it happening? Like how long did it last for? Did it hurt? Didn't it hurt? Well, I think. Um, you know, as with anything, you know, for the, for the first time, you're massively nervous. But I think seeing other people carry out the particular action made me feel a lot more comfortable and gave me a sort of sense of security, knowing that, you know, nobody's getting carried away in a wheelchair or, you know, there's a there's, there's the need for an ambulance or anything like that. So, yes, I was totally nervous. Um, the initial, if you like, um, impact, it, you know, if somebody ever said to me, yes, I'm going to put you know, a sword into your head right now, you're going to think a little bit, well, it's going to throw you a little bit, but it's, it's not painful at all. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's more of a psychological restraint. Physically, it's absolutely fine. And, you know, yeah, you know, seeing your own blood run off your own hand is a little bit, you know, especially for those who are squeamish, uh, a little bit risky. But I think if you actually understand the reason why you're doing this, there's no pain. There's no pain whatsoever, it's, if anything. You feel um, as as though you know it, it's very it's very very difficult to describe, but it's a brilliant feeling. From from what you're saying, I get I get the uh, impression that you're you're actually saying that it's more of a mental thing than a physical thing. Oh yeah, absolutely, thing. absolutely. I mean, you know, it's more of a, of a barrier, maybe through fear or through you know 
curiosity, whatever it yes. is, that's holding you back. Yes, yes. But um, obviously, once you're mentally strong and yes. you go forward, then you yeah. feel no pain. Yeah, and, and my advice would be for the people who are going first time is to go with somebody who is either has A, done it before, or B, somebody who could look after you as well. Um, I think those are two things that I personally had with me on my first time, which made it, uh, I wouldn't class it as something enjoyable or anything like that, but just gave me that sense of security. Um, and I think, you know, after, um, you know, it's not a problem, you just feel as though it's just an ordinary day in terms of from a physical perspective, but from a psychological and mental perspective, your body, your soul, you know, as, as you know, extravagant as it may sound, you feel a lot more pure, um, and that's something I took away from it the first time, and that's something I'm looking forward to, you know, in the coming years as well. Inshallah. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope this will give some insight to Inshallah. our Inshallah. Thank you.